cleaning these up finally. Um, what you'll need is uh, this uh, super washing soda. If you want to look up the science of it, just search, you know, electrolysis, and it'll talk about how the whole thing and this process works. But um, this video is more about cleaning this ugly pan up to look like new. Well, not new, but to look like a seasoned cast iron pan. Um, first thing you can do is uh, take this outside and power wash it, or at least spray it off real good with the, the, the hose nozzle um, to get all the loose stuff, because there's some that's flaky, you know, like that. You can get that flaky stuff off just by spraying it. Um, you don't want to get that in your, in your bucket because it'll just clog it up, make it go slower. So just make sure you go outside and uh, wash it up real good. And get most of the, you know, the, the surface stuff that flakes off and things pretty good. I'm gonna probably just do this pan uh, for the video. All I'm gonna use is this uh, Rubbermaid here. This is what you'll need. Well, maybe not, because there's a hole inside. Um, so I'll have to find me another Rubbermaid. But basically, I like these because you can get, you know, I can get my lid and probably my pan in there both and still have some room. So um, I got plenty of these around though, so I can use that. Uh, and then you'll just need some scraps, um, metal, uh, rebar, you know, this works good too. Saw a couple videos of people using this. Um, it would just take probably a few more pieces. I haven't had this uh, laying around. It was uh, left in this garage. So I probably will use these because I liked the idea. Um, I forgot one of the videos. It was a popular mechanics video maybe. Or you could use these, you know, scraps that we have. I would have to clean these off a little bit, but these would be nice because you could just hang them in the sides, you know, over the sides. Um, depending on your, if you have a long one of these, you can just bend a little lip and then hang it over the edge of the bucket or um, just whatever, whatever you've got. There's no reason to go buy any um, any pieces. There's probably plenty, you know, of metal around or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to drill the holes and get this set up um, and skip ahead there uh, for that. And uh, then I'll, I'll come back and, and show you how to uh, hook it all up and we'll hang the pan in, mix up our water, and uh, we'll get it started. Okay, so right here I'm just attaching the rebar, um, which will be the anodes for the positive connection. I um, just made little six inch pieces of loop out of some Romax uh, grounding wire. Then you'll want to attach all of those together so that you can. Um, just have a single point of connection for your positive lead off of the battery charger. Um, I just stripped out the middle section, wrapped it around each loop a little bit, um, then I'll uh, twist it together on the ends and that way all of them are connected at the same time. Uh, one point of contact for the battery charger, otherwise you'd have to make six different little connectors um, to hook up and then uh, that'd be kind of a pain. So it's just easier to run a wire all the way around the bucket and attach them all together. And then you will um, add your washing soda, get it all filled up, and ready to go. Hook it up to the charger. You can see it starting to work there. And it will... I'll probably leave it in there till this weekend. Okay, so let's see if it focuses on there. I think so can see all the rust settled on the container and the rebar. Um, it's also settled on the lid and stuff, but that'll just shake off. Um, I'll, t I'll get these out of here, and uh, and then it'll just be a matter of doing the seasoning part. But you can see all the rust down there that's settled. Haven't gotten to them, so I just let them sit in here after I turned it off. After I let it go about two days, so uh, I finally finished up and everything, and I'll just get them rinsed off a little bit, and then I'll get them on the counter. They're all nice and black again. Still have a bunch of stuff on there, um, all that flakes. So I'm gonna need to take them out and power wash them again, get that all off. That's probably just the old seasoning, some of the rust. Uh, one thing I did do, um, this one, not sure if you can see that there, but there's a little spot right here where it didn't get any. There's still some rust on there and stuff. Probably just use the wire wheel because it's a little spot, but that's probably where it was hanging and the air pocket was underneath. So there was no um, solution in there getting it uh, cleaned off. So um, just note next time, maybe try to hang it more vertically or something. You know, hook onto this. Maybe just hook onto this portion of the handle so that it hangs like that. Might be a little bit better. But um, as you can see, I'll put a little side-by-side -side clip in the video too. But a lot of this will just come off. You can see it flakes off there and smooths off. So it just needs cleaned. I will put a video out there of that. Uh, once I get all this cleaned off, I'll power wash it again, clean it, 
and I, I'll do the seasoning process as well in the next video. But I just wanted to show you the basically the electrolysis part. So as you can see, works great and it's hands off. So now I just gotta go and clean all that. See those little flakes, those come off just fine. It actually looks like it might be gonna be a pretty good little pan. Might be a little pitting in the bottom, um, but if I season it up good, it'll still be great for soups and stuff. I love it because it's a little bit smaller and um, I don't have to get the big Dutch oven out just to make chili or something in it. So um, anyway, there it is. Nice black pans now, not rusted. So now the next step is just, just to probably power wash them, get a little bit of that off. Then I'll probably use a little bit of the, the thick steel wool stuff, maybe a scotch Bright, Anything I can to just kind of scrape the rest of these flakes off. I mean, as you can see, it's, you know, coming off pretty easy with just my hand. So a little steel wool or whatever, I'll get the rest of it off real, thick, real quick. Um, after I do that, um, not sure if I'll put it in the oven for the auto clean. That will burn the rest of the software. You can just wipe it off if you wanted to. So uh, that might be one method. It's pretty easy. It just takes a while and it heats the hot house up and everything else. So um, not sure. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, already uh, free pan, 100% improvement. So once I get him seasoned and everything, he'll be perfect. And I'll go get me a good piece of uh, some wire and make me a new handle. And all set. Free Dutch oven. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.